everyone, this is the Roll Skull Podcast. Hello, Zachary. How are you? Ladies and gentlemen. I guess I should begin this with a query, a question. Do you remember, this was a couple years ago, where somebody made a drastic mistake and accidentally hit the button that sends out the world broadcast notification system mm. to tell Hawaii that the nukes were coming? Oh. Do you remember when that happened? I, I do not. All of Hawaii had woken up one day to basically a code red. Their phones were blaring, like doing the national security, the bleep, 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 like that kind of nonsense. Yeah, yeah. And they look down at their phone and they they see uh, nuclear warheads are headed towards your location. This is not a drill. Oh. <laughs> and it turns out that it was all it was all fake. It, it it wasn't real. It was just a mistake that somebody had. But oh. people were very very scared that one day. <laughs> I would imagine so. Oh my goodness. I'm starting to feel like that this week. <laughs> Oh. Because it turns out that Sanji Watch was not real. Oda pressed the button, but he didn't really mean to. It's over, boys. I mean, at least we have a snippet of that one opening of Sanji <laughs> fighting Kizaru. At least that exists, kind of, in canon. Um... And at least we can finally and rightfully replace Sanji Watch with Uta Watch, baby! It's oh, happening! Oh my days! <laughs> not this! Oda, not like this! <laughs> not like this! I don't want to go down like this! I don't want to go back! You can't make me go back! <laughs> I'm not even ready. And the <laughs> Why it couldn't have been anybody else? This ugly kid. Like, she is so ugly. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm going to make a video about how ugly she is. Like, because I love Reiju in this picture. Because she's committing felonies. <laughs> well, I mean, Reiju does what Reiju does. Yeah. And what is everybody drinking? Alcohol? Poison? Yeah. The thing that she likes to suck out of others. And it's red. For from red, baby! Right Let's now go, on, on Blu-ray. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, Hancock looks nice in her pearls. Yeah. Look great. Um, and Ray Everyone G looks great in this picture. Why is Uta here? Oh, Rachel's the only one wearing black. But yeah, why is Uta here? Why is Uta here? And why is she the only one in just her regular attire? And I thought this was a canon character's affair. <laughs> who are you, ma'am? The dogs are great. By the the way. dogs are great. I love the I love all the pictures of the dogs. I like the actual dogs. I love the couch. The couch is baller. Everything about this is phenomenal. It really is. The, the color scheme's great. What is that thing next to Nami? What, what is Uta doing here? <laughs> Why her? This blight. Oh, I hate commercial piece. I you could you could have put Yamato there. Yamato, Carrot, Bonnie, anybody, any pudding, doll, Vivi, Vivi. I don't care. Put Big Mom there. She breaks the couch. Put I don't. Lola there. <laughs> yes. Oh, Lola. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like Lola. <laughs> Why do I like Lola? Hmm. Lola? Because because Lola is canonically great friends uh, with Nami. Yes, and is now and having Nami hanging out with her, a character we haven't seen in a while. A while, Nami hanging all over them while they're having a great day. That I would mean, be that would be Soul. 
it'd be great. Also, congratulations. Or that would be Saul, baby. What's up? <laughs> also, congratulations to her. She just got married. Oh, Lola? Yeah. To, um, oh. to uh, Gatti, the big dude. Oh, with- right. Yeah. Big mom's about to have two grandchildren. Congratulations. Oh, blessed. Clap it up. Oh, bless. But what is this thing he doing here? <laughs> what is Uta doing here? Also, uh. also kicking her legs up like a harlot. Fantastic. <laughs> I, I hate it. Uh. <laughs> uh, I hate it. I hate it, Zach. What is this thing here with my canon character? I hate this. <laughs> I hate it. What is she doing here? <laughs> We're She's cementing herself as canon, brother. Oh, oh, Shanks. Shanks, you dumb, dumb idiot. Oh, I, my God. I, I can't I, wait. I cannot wait for... What was it? The... Uh, Oh, what studio was it? Studio Mappa remake of One Piece? And they're gonna sh- Oh, oh I'm, I I'm hope sick. so much. I hope so much that they canonize Uta. I'm dizzy. Oh my god, I would I would stand up and clap and dance like an idiot. I would dance throughout the streets like Odin. And <laughs> naked after, and proud. <laughs> after you're done, could you come back to the headquarters and resuscitate me? <laughs> <laughs> Because I would have fallen out on the floor. Foaming at the mouth. Foaming at the mouth in rage. Like Luffy when he got <laughs> knocked out by Kaido and Wano. Just angry. Angry and foaming. Ah! I mean, even like Tashigi's got red glasses. This is fantastic. But this thing! What are you... With your stupid headphones. They're so dumb! The hair doesn't even... Oh. Why does she have eights for hair? Why? <laughs> oh, my days. <laughs> I know the audio has probably taken a dump on my end, but I need to get this out. <laughs> this is horrid. This is possibly one of the best covers, color spreads for what it is, like an indoor thing. But you oh, ruin yeah. it with this with this thing. This spread is amazing. Also... The cover of Jump is so clean. It is! Gear 5th <laughs> punching! Oh, it's so much soul is watercolor painted. Oh, blessed day! That's pretty great. Oh, I love it. The font, it's baller! But, <laughs> but this thing is here! I, I, <laughs> like, okay, why is she special? Why not uh, Gil Tizarro? He's a movie character, too. Why not Zephyr? Why not the good one? Everyone loves Zephyr. My mom. They lo- didn't sell merchandise. Oh my! That's rough. And they're not based off of an idol that Oda likes. It's not even Miku. She's not Miku, Zach. She's trying to be. She ain't gonna dominate the scene for like two decades. I'm sorry, but she's no Vocaloid. I don't know. She's already dominated the scene for how many years now? A year. <laughs> Just vinegar and spite. But <laughs> I, 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 every single mangaka eventually falls to Idol Master, and it's disgusting. Well, at least our sovereign Ishimoto never did. Oh God. Oh well, I guess. I was- mean, maybe Kishimoto should have taken the Idol pill. Well, it might have made the the fourth great ninja war at all interesting. <laughs> well, Sara does dress for the part, so there's that. Oh God! <laughs> Don't even mention Boruto, it, um, because I, that means that Kishimoto still has time to take the Idol Master pill. <laughs> I would have rather Boa Hancock be that, or Reiju. Reiju's fit for it. She's got the funny eyebrow. She's great. She's got the funny eyebrow. She can like. Could she make a... I don't think she can make uh, constructs with her smoke, but she has poison. She can make you hallucinate things, I guess. Yeah, she's got the funny butterfly cape or whatever. She's not a Delver user, but make her one. Who who cares? Uh. This is what we spent the music music fruit on. Not not an opponent for Brooke. Not an opponent for Brooke. Oh, my days. 
Why am I crying? <laughs> I'm in tears. What? what? I can't wait for you to actually watch Film Red. Oh. And you're going to be like, dude, this was actually great. <laughs> no, I'm I'm going to hate the cherry pie. <laughs> oh, oh, this this is a blight. I like the dog that's on the floor. He's my favorite. Oh. I don't like the big one better, though. Anyway, I guess we should get on with the chapter. But the dog, though. Wait. No, no, we should get on with the chapter. Um, so yeah, uh, Caribou is being the goat right now. Yeah, he's telling all the secrets, which I mean, we can see that from a mile away. Which I'm glad though. And Van Auger stands on business, getting ready to shoot this mud man. I love Van Auger. Oh, he came it's up. So also, hard. kind of amazing. Like everybody likes to talk about, like X marks the spot, right? Yeah. There's a lot of themes about that, like how the search for the one piece, you're trying to find four corners to create the X that marks the spot. Right. Like a lot of stuff like that. Like a lot of characters have X's in their character design. But once again, nobody thinks about Caribou. He's literally buried treasure. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, he is because he's mud. He's earth. And he, yeah. Oh, that's a short Zach. That's great. <laughs> Write that down, write that down. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. everybody always forgets about caribou, but he's like the most important character. <laughs> and he looks like this. I love him. Oh, he's oh, I love him. Oh, he's such a goofy goober. I love him. And he knows all the world. See, look at him. He's sinister with his grin. He's great. Off like he, he seems like the anti buggy. Where Buggy fails upwards into success, Caribou fails downwards into success. Basically, from a threat to a joke to a lackey for both crews, basically. Back to a threat and always a joke. He is peak One Piece. And this is what One Piece is. Basically, and then an accidental hero that one time. Because Coward perhaps is, twice, yeah, perhaps twice. Oh we. Oh, oh wait. Have uh, yeah, we have a chatter who is a robot. Uh oh. Thank we you. have another creature. A cre. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Diggity dog, why are you trying? Why are you trying to sell us chatbots? Uh, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Throw, throw the rum at him. Wait, let me drink some of it first. Now throw it at him. <laughs> Have him walk the plank. Throw him over war, overboard. <laughs> Kill all this individual. Yes. But uh, yeah, Caribou is great. And he's named after a deer, which is funny. Mm hmm. And I love De Devon. Devon's Devon is great. Oh, the, the Blackbeard boys are based. <laughs> <laughs> They're all so good. I love how See, so I don't know if if I were making like a chapter if I were going to make a chapter like synopsis, I don't know if I would start it with the amber alert or if I would start it with hut 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 ho oh, hut 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 ho oh, ooh caribou. <laughs> I don't know. There's uh, too many jokes to be made. Uh, I need to put that to start this podcast. <laughs> oh, this best based. Uh, Jimmy Neutron was great. Anyway, um, Jimmy Neutron was Jimmy Neutron was an extremely mid show with mm -hmm. one amazing character. Sheen. Hugh. Oh, right. No, <laughs> no, he was. Hugh, Hugh carries that show, man. He, he do, though. <laughs> Like Sheen, Sheen was popular, but you gave Sheen his own show and you realized that he was not capable of carrying. You give Hugh Neutron his own show. I'd watch that. SpongeBob has to watch his back. SpongeBob in, in the fear of being canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Brother. Hugh Neutron with Hal from Malcolm in the Middle vibes. Yes. Amazing. Immaculate even. And then it was a big lie, and it, and Jimmy actually gets his smart for, smarts from him, and he's a uh, what's the other show? Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> it, 
go. It all goes around. Yo, let's go. And his love for ducks. Also, they kicked him out of uh, the Nick- Nickelodeon fighting game. It's not in the second one. Why? I, maybe he'll be DLC, but he's not in it. I don't know. That's weird. They kicked out a lot of characters, though. Like the That's abo- odd. It's it's very odd. They added Mr. I Krabs. guess you could sell. I guess you could sell more season passes if you uh, bring them back later. Yeah, just like Smash Brothers. Yeah, just like oh dear. Well, Any- at least Smash Ultimate had the had the guts to bring everyone back for one one last ride, baby. Yeah. But anyway, Caribou is being the goat. Caribou's great. Um, we get name confirmations for all the vice admirals. We have uh, Guillotine because he has an axe in his head or something. Very Hound. cool. Very, yeah, very cool. Hound with the glasses. He looks like Max Deuce to me. I don't know. Uh, our girl Bluegrass. I love Bluegrass. Doberman, who we knew already with the various marks on his face. And... uh. Toes up. Who gets bucked by Brocky, baby? <laughs> Idiot. <Let's> go. <laughs> He's so st- Dude, this man is about to. This man is about to perform a feat of legend. <laughs> Ten barrel finger gun? Ten barrel finger gun. Does this man have the Roku O gun? It looks like it, but it, but it's not. Technically, it's not. <laughs> it looks like it, though. I That's why I said, too. It looks like Roku Ogon. It looks like Six King Gun, but it ain't. And he's got... <laughs> he's hockeyed up and everything, but no bonk. <laughs> that's all. Oh, that's good. Brock, yeah, I love you. Also, uh... I just want to bring attention to this, because it's kind of important. Hmm. At the start of this chapter, we introduce a character that has headphones as part of their design. Oh. And then we bring in Bluegrass, who also has headphones as part of their design, but it works and it's great. And she too has an interesting hair choice, but she, it makes her funny and cool. Yeah. Unlike the other characters. Oh, I love Bluegrass. Bluegrass I love this design so much. She's so cool. She's so cool. She's got a she has a baller devil fruit. I love the ride ride fruit. It's one of those weird ones that, that's oddly very useful. Yeah. Because there aren't. But you got to get in before you could be useful. So she could just take anything. She's taking Vegapunk's machines. And speaking of which, which have already been destroyed. <laughs> yeah, she's forcing this poor creature to transport her. Oh. And- and doll, but as soon as and I doll say, is just sitting there, like crossing her arms, trying to look as cool as possible. It's so great. I love the Marines here. Um, but something interesting comes up, and I have made two videos on it uh, an hour ago. Uh, Vice Admiral Doll was trained by Saul. Let's go. Nope. All the Saul? other Doll. Doll. Where else do we have? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else, get dog. Out. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> go on, I don't go know on. if this is just like some minor lore stuff, or if this means that she's going to be important going forward. I hope the latter. But go on. Because on one hand, I want to believe that this means that she's going to be important in Elbath, right? Because I do want the Marines to have some sort of presence. In any arc. I want the Marines to be around, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. I like the fact that, like, a lot of people don't like Fujitora. I like the fact that the Marines are in Dress Rosa trying to do something. Because it makes sense. Yeah. Like, Marine Ford, a lot of people consider the, like, the best arc, even though any, not any lobby, uh... What's the one? Oh, oh okay. God. Impel Down completely mugs Marine Ford. Yeah. It's not even close. Yeah, and there's more world building, but yeah. Yeah. But, like, Alabasta is better because Smoker's in it. Yeah. So, I want to believe that Doll is going to make her presence known. Like, I feel like this is setting up... Because we're doing a lot of setup for Vice Admirals right now. We are. We've and really it makes not- me want to believe that these are going to be important characters going forward. Yeah. But what is going to stop the entirety of the Marines from going to uh, Elbaf after this? 
Nothing. Because the way I look at it, like she and R- Nico Robin are very interesting to me because they know the same man, but two different versions of him. Yeah. And that means Doll is 40 something. She looks good. She looks really good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> also, um, I want to point out, we do have other Delford users. We have Pomsky, who is the otter guy. What Pomsky the- is good. He yeah. is good. I love him. And we have Urban, the gun guy. Because yeah. he uh, did that weird arm cross thing and his top hat turned into a gun. Yeah. Yeah. So they two are Delford users. Um, also, Ur- I... I just like devil fruits that have poses that activate the powers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that, but that's good. It's good. like Nico Robin is very good. This is good when uh, Bartolomeo right, is, is good. Um, who was there another one? No, no. I mean, I mean there's plenty. There's plenty. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I I wonder what Urban is because he can't be a human though he could be a human because humans look weird in One Piece. I don't know. He might be. Humans typically don't have sharp teeth like this. True. Except for Bartolomeo. But <laughs> I, I, I mean, they don't have like tusks. He, he doesn't have the Jinbei tusks. Yeah. Right. I would. He call... might be half fishman. He could be. Although we don't really have that many fishmen in the marines in general yeah but he'd be the only one yeah and like um red king the guy who's not here who was um name dropped last chapter he's the only snake neck so he's the only like weird mutant human yeah so i mean cool I'm i mean down. yeah because you know the fishmen the fishmen have been put down by the world government like for for eons like why would any why would any self-respecting fishman actively work for the government and not be a warlord under their system? You know what? I see the hole. I'm gonna walk <laughs> around it. Yeah, Jinbei doesn't even show up in the chapter. We shouldn't talk about him. Uh, but <laughs> if I am pushed in, I'm not gonna resist. <laughs> I was just trying to just throw shade on my man, but I like Urban. Urban's cool. Urban is cool. I like that Pomsky turns into an otter. And it's mm-hmm. funnier because he's, he's an otter that can't swim. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> and I like that he has a shell hammer, which is ridiculous, but it's great. I love, I love it. Um, but yeah, doll brother, I think doll is going to bury Smoker. I, in a way, I kind of hope that happens. Because C- like. I, I'm not being mean about it, but diggity dog, Egghead alone has the most marine presence of any arc that just like primarily focuses on marines and marine characters. Because you have Dress Rosa, but Dress Rosa are kind of like a side plot. It's the, the uh, what's it? The invasion on Pirate Island. That's a big marine thing. We've got the Egghead hmm. stuff. That's a big marine thing. And then there was one more. Ah, uh, I forgot. It was the third one. It's still up in my mind. It's still up in my mind. I thought it was the third one. I thought I had it. Maybe it was I mean, Marine. I mean, they talk about a lot of different uh, Marine happenings. Right. But aside from Egghead and Hachinoso, I don't think there's any other Marine things happening. Other what? than, like, the Seraphim. Uh, well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's no. technically that's technically a marine presence. Blackbeard's invasion on Amazon Lily, Lily on was Amazon a marine. Lily too. Yeah, that's a marine thing. That's the third one, which then develops that would develops Kobe. The other one mm. develops Kobe. This develops everyone else. And Smoker is not here for any of them. Yeah, like where is he? But Tashiki is. Tashiki's there for like. They're I'm putting like, her on color spreads, dude. There, she's in color spreads. <laughs> with Uta. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> with actual popular character. <laughs> oh my days. But like the fact we're going. Go go ahead. And the fact that like they have Tashigi talking to Doll earlier this arc when Doll is introduced, it's like, ooh, <laughs> we're moving the dial, and then Kobe's with Tashigi. I'm like, oh, what does that mean? But no smoker. But you go on. 
They're putting a lot of... They seem to be putting a lot of stock into Doll. Yeah. Which I hope means that we're going to have like a minor marine presence in Elbaf. Like, Doll shows up, and then we can focus on Doll. Right? Right. Because those are the best... Those are the best marine presences. Those are the best times that the marines get to shine is where you take one character and you let them go through an arc throughout the actual arc. You give them their own character arcs. Like just, Alabaster is beloved because we have that with Smoker and Tashigi. Exactly. We can't do that though. If we're going to have every vice admiral heading over to Elbath and there is no reason why you would have a small team of Marines going to Elbaf at this point. There is no reason why Aka Inu should not be heading to Elbaf right now. The only way I can see we we having a like a small group if like we bring the giant squadron to Elbaf. The only way that we can have a small group of Marines is if Everyone dies here. Oh, and then Doll is like the last remaining, the last remaining military presence in the area that can actually go and perform reconnaissance. And then they send the giant squad with her for backup. Like, I guess you could do like a small group of Doll, Kizaru, and Luchi. <laughs> Which but even that has way too much star power. Doll's not going to get any screen time. True. We're going to talk about Lucy in a second. Um, even though he's not in this chapter, but something else happens. Because mm-hmm. what I'm thinking about, the reason I keep saying giant squash is because I'm thinking like, like how Saul was in charge of the giant pirates, it would make sense if he trained the giants that are with the Marines at this moment. I mean, would they send the giant squadron though? Because this ale bath and giants have always been regarded as a problem. Yeah, but we have two giants that were trained by the Marines that are actively in this arc right now. Yeah, Oimon and Koshi. Ooh. Do we want to have more Oimon and Koshis? But like, they're for the Marines, though. But are they? That's now that Dory and Bragi are back, they they seem to be one hundred percent pro pirate. No, like we do, like okay, you remember how the ones I'm talking about, right? The ones that show up at Marine Ford. Yeah, we don't know if they were pirates. We don't know anything about them. Well, we know that there is a <clears throat> contingent of giants called the Giant Squadron, right? And then we know that giants can be from other places other than Elbath. Yeah. Because uh, Saul, when he was a Marine, had a very odd distaste of Elbathian giants, all of them mm-hmm. savages. So I don't know what that means. And of course, we have ancient giants who are from I don't know where. But I, that's an interesting question. Like, could they have been pirates in the past or could they have been abducted from by the Marines and they were children of pirates? I don't know. Some Mother Caramel chicanery true that's the thing because she was the cause she was on elbath and she i think was the response for her john giant mm-hmm. so yeah i don't know but they're gonna come up I, i'm like they might come up i don't know maybe that's something that we can put onto loki maybe loki wants to quote unquote bring the giants into the modern age and wants to bend the knee to the world government. That's true. That could. Happen. And the rest of the giants are like, no. And, and I, then we could slowly build toward. And then we'd have like this like obvious evil king guy. I guess. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm I'm with you, dog. I don't know. Like, if we have that, then we're already. We are already squarely in the camp of pirate giant. Yeah. Dorian Brogy are here. This is where our allegiance lies. Right. No matter what happens, this is where our allegiance lies. Yeah. They're not gonna they're not gonna turn Dorian Brogy heel. 
No, no, no. They are going to have them be- like betray us. No. But the question is, like, where does Saul sit in all of this? Because Saul doesn't like El and Giants, but he's on El And then he became, I think, the standing captain at one point of the Giant Pirates and Brock and Dory Stead, which is yeah. weird. Like, he's had a change of heart. So, so he might be pro pirate, but he also might be doing what he needs to do to keep his secrets safe. I don't know. Right. Um, he might be pro Blackbeard. He he could be. I don't know. It it because he might be without Kiji dog. He might be because the thing is that since he is not of Elbaf, he does not know the religion of the sun, so he would have no like Nika isms about him. Mm-hmm. So it's like I I don't know, but he does have Nika isms in him. Yeah, what is the one thing he taught Robin? Uh, the laugh, right? <laughs> Dur she 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 she. Yes, dead she she she. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. <laughs> uh, also, you can take the giant out of Elbaf, but you can't take the Elbaf out of a giant. You sure can't, man. <laughs> Ancient giants don't laugh. Oh, no, they do laugh. I don't know if that's because of religion or because um, something didn't go right with the whole cloning process. Well, did Norris Jr. laugh? I I'm trying to remember. When, I, I want to believe that he laughed when Ace gave him the hat. I want to say you're right. Because that feels correct. That feels like it should happen. I'll but I don't it. remember. I haven't read. I haven't read Marine Ford. In like 12 years. I had to dig up. I'm because tr- I digged up this panel to prove like Ace was like made of fire sometimes. Um, even when he doesn't mm-hmm. want to be. I can't remember. I- I'm just gonna call you right and we're gonna move on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, um, funny thing that I forgot to mention, but TikTok reminded me, they don't know if why they don't know that Frankie's a part of the crew because his Warner poster is just the ship. Mm -hmm. they think he's a researcher i think that's funny that's good that's hilarious uh but yeah giant spider grandpa i i don't know what's going on here man i have an idea you're not gonna like it my man like okay so what it looks like is that this guy is being like overtaken by his devil fruit right hmm that's what it looks like is happening, but that can't be the case because he has the mark of mastery. Now, but it looks like he's doing awakened Zoan things. You are correct. I think you're correct because that's what I'm going to say. You, do you remember Impel Down? Yeah. You remember the funny demon guards? Yeah. You know how they were described as awakened Zoans, right? Yes. But they clearly look different from Luffy and Lucy and Kaku and Saturn originally. Yeah. I think there are two forms of awakening, and when you become truly awakened, you can access the other one without losing yourself. Kind of like, it's kind of another path to what, say, Chopper or presumably Sengoku are doing, when they have, like, the big body, they're just big and ogreish, but there's no, like, extra abilities. They can come back if they're knocked out, but... There's nothing really going on. But when you have the Mark of Master, when you have the Haragamo, you can have this, like, I guess, perfect synchronized awakened state, but you also have access to, like, the Ogreish awakened state. So I think this is Saturn getting mad and accessing the Ogreish awakened state. And I guess the reason why that's different is because you have a bigger, burlier body than the other one. If that makes sense. There's also one other thing. All right. Does this have anything to do with Katarina Davon? No. Because Katarina Davon poked him and immediately he's rampaging. I want to say no. Also, what happened to Kizaru? Uh, he, he is, he is, he's gone. Oh, no, he's been, he's busy killing Vegapunk. He was standing in front of Sanji and then just kind of teleports out of the frame so that we could focus on Saturn. Yes. 
And then the next time we see him, he's just kicking Sanji in the head. Okay. He's quick. I guess. No, you're right. That's kind of bad. <laughs> also, uh, Saturn's using like, paper arts. I mean, he always does, doesn't he? I don't know. Like, you know that paper the, arts? Uh, like, you remember um, in Ed's Lobby how Funkaro could, like, become, like, Wiggly? Oh! And Kumadori could do the same thing in the guy with all the hair. Saturn's doing that? Yeah, because you can do that with your limbs. Oh. That's why his, his limbs are all noodly. At least that's what I think. Uh, Santa Sonia did something similar with her hair. Um, I, I assumed his limbs got all noodly because he's around Luffy, but yeah, that makes a lot more sense. So, like, yeah, he's trying, he's noodly because he's trying to stab him. Mm-hmm. Like, ah, I'm going to get you. Which is funny. But this comes back to my issue with this chapter. Oh, Lordy. All right. We show off Sanji getting ready to fight Kizaru. Yes. Which apparently was just there so that we could we could point at the screen and, and make the soy face and be like, oh, my God, it's like the it's like the animal opening. That's crazy. And then yeah. we did nothing with that at all whatsoever. Does Oda just not like drawing the other straw hats anymore? I wouldn't say that. Come on, G. I wouldn't say he hates drawing the other straw. He draws Frankie. How many fights have we skipped this arc? A lot. The only fights that he's animating, that he's that he's drawing, are Luffy. Yeah, it's has he become so? Has he become so like in, in, enamored with like the Toon Force that he can't draw anyone else doing anything? Which is weird because like most of the crew in a way has Toon Force too. Yeah, because like Sanji turned into an, an accordion back in Wano, and now he's fine because mm-hmm. of his weird mutant genes or whatever is going on. But I mean, the only like the this fact- entire arc is just wait for Goku. Oh. But then we skipped all of the fights up to wait it, up to the point where Goku gets here. I hope we skipped them all. I hope this is, isn't the new standard. I didn't even <laughs> think of it like that. Oh lord! Oh, I'm scared. This is like the this is like the Frieza saga. If we had just off screened the Ginyu Force, yeah, and then Goku shows up and punches Raccoon, and that's what the Raccoon fight was. Okay, I'm going to fall into the Jinbei hole real quick. It's weird that this is his first arc. He's done nothing. No one's done anything except Luffy. It's weird because like when Brick first joined, at least he fought those uh, flying fish rider guys. Yeah, at least we got to show off Brooke running on the water and stuff. Yeah, and his music and how that can be used in combat. Like this is Jinbei's first arc and you not give him any room to do anything. It's weird. And then, because we gave him room to do stuff on whole cake. Why would we need to let him do anything else? This is the Luffy show now. Oh, Lord, no. <laughs> like, I like Luffy. I do, too. I, I, I love Luffy. I love this, this silly little rubber guy. But we have nine other straw hats. Yeah. That I like a lot that I would like to see shine. I mean, it's weird. Okay, just give us Sanji versus Kizaru. It's been 12 years, dog. Come on now. Give us anything. Give us anything. Like, Sanji versus Kizaru, like, I could understand if you didn't want to have, like, a long, protracted fight with Sanji versus Kizaru. Yeah. These two are probably not on the same level. Kizaru is probably stronger than Sanji. He might be. Like, we already, we already, we already made it so, like, if, if we want to have the power scaling talk. Oh, no. Which I hate power scaling talks. Me too. In I, one piece. I don't like it. But Kizaru has already fought, like, to a standstill with Luffy. Yeah. 
But maybe a tired Kizaru could fight Sanji for a little bit. I mean, just I, maybe. I don't see a problem with it, honestly. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's shown that, that he can at least match speed for speed. Yeah. At least that's it seems to be on the table. But I just don't like that. Well, you're right in it being the Luffy show because, I mean, it is. And then the idea. It's just wait for Goku. Yeah, it is wait for Which is fine. I like, like, the Frieza saga is my favorite in Dragon Ball. I like waiting for Goku. But I like waiting for Goku because that gives everyone else in the show a moment to shine. Exactly. And they're very effective. The best moment in all of Dragon Ball is Piccolo versus Android 17. Yeah. Because that is sick. And I love seeing my boy Piccolo do anything. Yeah, it's sick. Piccolo sacrificing himself to Nappa. That was a byproduct of waiting for Goku. Yep. Krillin being an awesome character. Byproduct of waiting for Goku. Everything leading up to the Cell arc with Gohan, all of these little bits and pieces, waiting for Goku. Do you think that Vegeta would be a character if we didn't have to wait for Goku? He would not be. But we're skipping all of that. Uh. We off-screened all of that. Yeah. And we just got to the we just skipped to the point where Goku shows up because he's who you want to see. Like the idea that Oda <laughs> is waiting for the anime to catch up is a thought that I don't like. Even if Oda is waiting for the anime to catch up, anything the anime can do is effectively filler. Yeah. Because Oda didn't draw and choreograph the thing. Yeah, no, it's not. It's Which not means real. that it's up. To, it's up to Toei. We're gonna leave it up to Toei uh, to do to to draw half the arc. This is. Oh no. And also, I mean, it's kind of crazy. I, I keep looking at this one thing. Why? Just completely off uh, off topic. Yeah. Yeah. How how crazy is it that Vegapunk got special beam cannoned and he's still alive? And he's not going to die from this. Wait, but like, wait, no. But he's like... It's not Zero like percent chance. Zero percent chance Bro, Vegapunk know. dies from a Kizaru shot. You know why I don't know? Because mm -hmm. what happens later is a dead man switch. That's true. So I I don't know. I don't know. I'm more in the in the camp that he actually did it. They actually killed Vegapunk because otherwise this thing wouldn't have went off. This is so different from every other I don't know. This is so different from every other death in One Piece though. Because it seems like when Santi's holding him, he's actually fading. That's true. I don't know what he's going to say. Like in his message to the world as the chocolate gorilla mel melts into the milk. Oh, you know what? No, he's dead. <laughs> you know what? No, he's dead. Look at what Sanji says. Yeah, right. What are you smiling about? Oh, smile. Yeah. He's a D. <laughs> God! <laughs> Don't no! say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Oh, no. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Wait a minute. Oh, Zach, no. Son of a. No. Oh, now I got to make a video about it. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. No. How could this happen to me? You've got to be kidding me. A Vegapunk's a D. No, he is a D. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, my mic has died. Oh, no. 
Oh, this is crazy. You've got to be kidding me. No, you're right. <laughs> you, you very well could be right. Oh, Lord. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Also, oh, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> what are the chances? Yeah. What are the actual chances that the truth about our world isn't something that we already know? He tells everyone that they live in a manga. I don't think that's the case. <laughs> that not. would be funny. <laughs> that would be that would be soul. Like, what are the chances that this isn't something that we already that we already know as an audience? I, I, I think it's I think it's going to be obvious. There's a high it's going to be it's going to be talking about what happened to the Buccaneers. Yeah. Would be the only thing that I can think about that I can think of when it comes down to like stuff that we don't know for sure. It's going to be that. I think it's going to be mentioning Eam. Yeah, like this world is controlled by a singular king. Yeah. Yeah. That would make sense, actually. That's actually the Alchemist Razor answer. You, you, you throw that in there, and all of a sudden, then you can have like a crazy influx of people supporting Sabo, and suddenly that's like an actual. That's an actual thing that we have to worry about, like an actual faction. And we can kill Dragon finally. Thank God. Where's Dragon? Dead, I hope. Well, I guess, yeah, well, I guess Dragon can't be here because he's not faster than Kuma. Oh. So, yeah, Dragon can't be here. One of the many things he can't do, he doesn't do anything. I was about to say, can't do. Dragon can't do a lot. <laughs> yeah, he stands there and grimaces. That's what, he can, he, that's what he's good at. What can Dragon do is the question. <laughs> Fart really big, apparently. My man has my man has less presence than the jacket jacket fruit. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> and Kelly Funk was funny. <laughs> Kelly Funk was amazing. One of my favorite characters in the entire series. I, I that is peak. That is peak One Piece right there. I actually owe many a video on the jacket jacket fruit. I gotta make that. Mm -hmm. Because I said I talked about that a year ago. Kelly uh, Funk is like Yeah. He's got this crazy power and it sucks. It does. But he makes it work. It's like a roller coaster of hilarity. I love it so much. Because he just so happens to have a very a, a big brother with a tough body. That's funny. Yeah. That's so good. Uh, he puts the hat on when he transforms. <laughs> but if this is actually... If this turns out to be actually like void century lore. Yeah. If we're going to learn the truth about the world, that would mean that we need to cut back into another series of chapters that are just a flashback. Uh oh. I that would mean. That we have to cut away from Egghead for months again. Because. Which is not going to happen. Yeah, I think. I well, think Oda's done with doing that on Egghead. Yeah, because we need to move. I probably like Elbath would be another Lord. We double. just got done with the Kuma flashback. Yeah. We cannot cut away again. There's no way that's going to happen. Because, Which means okay. this has to be something we already know. But then, but the One Piece world doesn't. But he was researching the Void Century, though. And that's why there's so much Marine presence on AK in the first place. Yeah, but we know some things about the Void Century. That's true. It could be anything. That's right. Because it would We know a lot about the One Piece world that the average civilian does not. True. That is true. Because we are with people who are in depth in the lore. So, yeah. Now, depending on what this is, though, I wonder if this arc is like the death knell for the Marines. It, I hope it's not. I hope not because they just got on a roll being a faction of presence. 
And I like it when the Marines are good. I yeah. like it when the Marines are strong. Because the Marines, like, come on, like, it's the Marines, dude. Yeah, right. Like, uh, inherently, the Marines are interesting. Inherently, the Marines, like, have gray morality. Right. Because you want to, you want to support justice, you want to support the law, but the law is also corrupt and crooked. Exactly. So you can have Marines on all kinds of different spectrums of morality, which is awesome. Indeed. And interesting. And it makes it so that you can have, you can do so much with them. And I like that. And I want to see more of that. And then we just got Prince Gross. We just got the My new kids, on the, new kids on the block. You know, Kobe has proven himself. He has proven to step that he will be the man who steps into Garp's very large shoes. It's nice. It's good. I like. I've like. I'm liking Kobe for the first time in my 17 years of reading this comic. Um, <laughs> like truly and honestly, I really do like Kobe now. Um, I've always liked. I've him liked. Though. I've. I've liked Kobe from the very beginning. That's fair. I like him. I like. I like Kobe from back when he was on Alveda Chef. Like that's fair. Well, maybe not on Alveda Chef. Maybe during what was that? Orange Town? No. Shellstown. Shellstown. Yeah. When we met Zorro. Yeah. Like I like Kobe ever since then because Kobe is kind of like a cowardly kind of guy, but he's got a dream. Yeah. And he's got to do his dream and see Kobe come back. As a full fledged Marine learning Rokushiki from Garp back in what was that? Not Annie's Lobby, but <laughs> close enough, yeah. It was close to that. It was like before. It, was that during Water 7? I don't remember. No, it was like it, Garp shows up after Annie's Lobby. Oh, okay. Seeing that, I was like, yo, is that Kobe? <laughs> right, right. It's like, yeah, I like Kobe. And it, I like Kobe. I like Kobe's journey from Alveda up until now because it, it shows you like even if you have, which is a almost like the Deku story, but just written better. Like yeah. even if you have no power, even if you have no talent, if you put the work in and really strive to reach your dream, you can achieve anything. And I like how the dream evolves from just being a Marine, but then you get the feel for it. You get into the feel. You're a competent soldier. You, you practice and practice and practice, but now you want to be an admiral. Now you want to leave. Even Oh, Kobe yes. can be a competent member of the One Piece, I guess, catalog. It's great. Even Kobe. Kobe sucks. Yes. If Kobe can do it, you can do it. Exactly. That, and that's, that's why, why I like him. It's it's the epitome of the human condition. If you mm. just work hard enough, you can achieve the individual. indomitable human spirit overcomes all. Yes. <laughs> 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 what a throwback uh, <laughs> but um even science from nerds <laughs> but Amazing. um yeah and hell meppo uh despite his bare cheeks being in the live action which I, <laughs> I did not care for but naked in the live action which i'm like wow um i've i like i like him up because he's he's risen above his uh nepotism He's out of his father as a crook. He will capture his father by the end of the series. It will be immaculate. I will clap. But like, yeah, I never needed. I never needed Helmeppo to become an admiral. I just want to see him catch his dad. Yes. Like I, that's all you have to do with Helmeppo. Why is he the future of the Marines? Well, he, he's shining above expectations, I guess. And then we have Prince Groose, who is a fan favorite because he has a funny hat. Oh, wait, no, that's hilarious, actually. <laughs> Hold up. Oh, wait. I just noticed something. What's up? You know how Luffy's clothes uh, grow with him when he yeah, goes I, giant form? I was going to tell you about that. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this sir. That does it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Bravo encore. The string around the straw hat does, but the straw hat itself doesn't grow. Base. 
Thanks. That's hilarious. I, I love Gear 5th. That's so stupid. I, love, I talk about that in the video. Oh, I love that. I love that. It's so good. Tiny baby <laughs> hat. That's good. That's very good. At the nape of his neck. Oda's been reading Attack on Titan anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, and this goes back to what I was talking about before. I like Luffy. I yeah. like Gear 5th. I just wish we didn't have to skip everything to get right to the action like this. I hope because of the context of this arc is why we got so much Nika stuff. Though mm, it's ooh. it's it's got to pay off somehow, right? Yeah, I I just need the other character because the other characters have so much more to offer. I I hope this isn't the new string of things. Like I hope he's not getting too addicted and to drawing. Go on. Yeah, that, that's that's kind of like a problem because everybody mm. wants more straw hats. Where's my boy Brooke? Everybody wants everybody wants Bonnie to join. Everybody wants Vivi to join. Everybody wants I don't know Yamato. Yeah. Pudding, carrot, all these characters, right? Yeah. Bartolomeo. Yeah. Cabbage, all these characters. <laughs> Cabbage. Everybody wants more. Everybody wants more straw hats. We can't even draw Sanji. Yeah. <laughs> We don't have enough time for Sanji and Zoro. Yeah. <laughs> How are we going to do like six other straw hats and then new ones on top of that? I I hope this clears up, bro. <laughs> because the crew is not finished, apparently. So this guy has to be shaken out quick, fast and in a hurry. How long have we been post time skip? Since 2012? Yeah. 11 years in the new world. Every single pirate crew that we have met, all of the high-ranking members, all, all of what you could call the top 10, have at least armaments and observation hockey. Oh, oh, here we go. The most we've done with that is giving Usopp an awakening. Eleven years. I want to tell you a story. <laughs> it was 2019. I'm reading the. Mm. I'm reading the. I'm reading this mango, and Frankie is going to fight someone named Sasaki. Sasaki is the captain uh, of the armored squadron. I know what you're going for. And I was like, okay, right here, right now, since he's fighting the armor squadron, while he has a body called literally armored me, that's what the post time skip body is called. I thought maybe now he'll get armored hockey in a, in a, in a clash of armor versus armor, hard versus hard. His armor is failing him. His body is failing him, but he pushes past his limits. He unlocks his will and his fist blackens and he knocks out Sasuke. Bam! Stri strongest right! Strongest right! Strongest hammer! Black hammer! Ah! Oh, did that happen? No! Oh my days! <laughs> Then, 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 Zach. Then, my, my, my home dog. I, I look at my precious baby girl, Robin. I see her fighting a big spider meanie, who's also a baddie, but that's not the point. The point is, <laughs> <laughs> she, she's going to turn into a big devil. And I, I'm on the forums. I'm in the discords. I see that the, the, the big devil form is black and I'm drinking the arm and hockey Kool-Aid. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But in my heart, I know it's a lie. I know. It's I mean, a it could be. No one mentioned it. No one mentioned it. I want it to be. It would make sense because she's breaking this hardened spider body over her leg or whatever. I'd buy it, but I don't know. I don't know. We don't know. I mean, why? Because we can't give the straw hats enough time to do anything. I mean, the whole psychic Nami weather thing—that's just observation. How, how can I not be observation? It's—it's. Uh, 
Ah, like you can explain that with observation, but yeah. you can explain a lot of things with Nami with hockey. We made a joke about her having conquerors. Yeah, I, give her conquerors. Who gives a j- just? I, <sighs> no, I don't think Nami should have conquered. All right. Like, there's only there's only three people on the crew who should have conquered. Obviously, Luffy. Mm. I guess Zoro because he he, uh, he he he's conquering hell or something. I don't know. Yeah, that. like like Zoro already has it, so we've already opened that box. I don't think he should have been a conqueror's guy, but whatever. Like if he if he's gonna fight strong guys, then you need to have conquerors hockey, I guess. Yeah. The only other one who needs conquerors is Usopp. Not Sanji. No. Alright. Sanji doesn't need uh, Sanji doesn't need conquerors. He is a germa body. He could be a Cordian by anyone. He does not need like I don't think that you should give every character that has like weight in the story and is strong conqueror. And That's I think fair. Sanji is a I think Sanji is a great example of that. Yeah. Because if Zoro learns the conqueror's coat and Sanji has a body that can't be damaged, that would be hilarious. And that would even them out quite nicely. Yeah, because you have two guys that are always fighting that literally can't hurt each other. Which is peak comedy. That's funny. Sanji doesn't need it. Like, what is Sanji's conqueror's hockey? (laughs) Pervert hockey? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Like, what would you do with that? Yeah, that's true. No, yeah. Other than, like, oh, he needs to have it to fight the strong guy. It's like, shut up. I hate that, though. Like Conqueror's hockey as as an extension of the self. Liar's hockey is amazing. Because he has always proclaimed himself to be a king amongst men. Yeah. Which is makes like, sense. Liar's way. hockey is perfect. Yes. Usopp getting conquerors is funny. He's gonna get it in Elbath. I, yeah. Cause now, um, if we don't skip it. Yeah, uh, don't, don't, please, don't <laughs> say that. I, I literally, can't, no, this is my Fishman Island. Don't take that away from me. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I actually can't. I would be so sad. Um, because now, thanks to the anime, um, Van Auger is looking like the captain of the first ship. I don't know about the third ship. I, I, who? Wolf. I like the idea of Van Auger being the guy who gets stuff done. But let's be honest. Does Blackbeard care about that? No, which is why it's great. Yeah. Because he's so efficient. Because Blackbeard... My man my man is efficient. But Blackbeard doesn't care about that. Which is such a great contrast. <laughs> Because Blackbeard just goes in and does what he needs to do, where Van Auger's doing calculus in the back. It's like, yeah. well, good, you're doing this. I don't have to. Say. <laughs> Shut up, nerds. <laughs> I'm going to suck him into my hole. <laughs> and then quake of the death in my hole. <laughs> and Van Auger, the nerd in the background, is like, well, sir, we would have 25% more efficiency if you did it here instead. And Blackbeard's like, cool, I'm going to do it there then. Cool, yes. <laughs> Teleport me there and I'll do it. Teleport me there. <laughs> bring my cherry pie next time, though. I'm famished. <laughs> uh, and then Burgess. Oh, well, Burgess. I, Burgess I, is peak. I don't care. I worry. The cream will rise to the top. I uh, Keep the faith. I'm keeping the faith. <laughs> strong, like, strong fruit come through. I like the I, I like the strong strong fruit. I know a lot of people call it boring. Oh, he's just a big strong guy. It's like, but diggity dog, can you consider the idea that this man is going to be pulling off white beard level feats? Was just because he already did before he had the fruit because he can't yeah. make shock waves. Yeah. Ooh, like yeah. you don't need the quake quake fruit to punch the air and create a shock wave. 
which now my man is going to be absurd i'm jumping and that's going to be that's going to be great when frankie has to fight him yeah frankie fights him yeah yeah because this like i don't like who's gonna fight him jimbe oh god they both throw stuff zach i don't care i know this is a wrestling match no, no fun. I don't want to see Racho Man Randy Savage fight Yokozuna. <laughs> is he really Yokozuna? Mm-mm. That would imply that Jinbei has like Jinbei is like I guess more of like a judo specialist. So you could do like the world's strongest man versus the guy who could use your strength against you in some way. That's what's that's what's gonna Which okay, fine. I hate but this. Jinbei doesn't sell as well as Frankie does. Frankie gets hit. He's like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely destroyed by a single punch! And then that that automatically puts stakes into the fight. Like, what does Jinbei do? <laughs> well, Jinbei would just take the punch. Because he could take hits from Big Mom, so it wouldn't affect him, obviously. I guess. It's gonna see, now I'm a Jinbei apologist out of spite. <laughs> I, I hate him that much. Since he could, I mean, Zach, he could just use Armored Hockey to block Big Mom, like the premier superhuman of the One Piece world. So, all right, let's be honest, though. Uh, let's be honest. Okay. Big Mom is a very strong person. Yeah. Is Big Mom as strong physically as Kaido? Technically, yeah, they're about even. Physically, Big Mom, Big Mom has tricks. Big yeah. Mom has a bonkers devil fruit. People still say Kaido could beat her in a fight. <sighs> if we're just talking about raw physical stats, I think Kaido has Kaido has it on Big Mom. I. I, I but even so, even so, let's call them even. OK. We're talking about a guy who was already strong and has a devil fruit that makes you way stronger. We're not talking about the horse. Yeah. <laughs> I have the same thought. <laughs> what do you think is going to be stronger? What do you think is going to be more powerful? Kaido's raw strength? Or the strong, strong fruit when it awakens. I would say the strong, strong fruit. But my problem... It's going to be bonkers. I... Can I just level I, with you? I, I would like someone... I would like someone with the push, push fruit to fight the strong, strong fruit. That because, would be funny. And an, an immovable force versus... No, an, an unstoppable force versus an immovable object. That's the fight I really want. I want Jinbei to die. I don't want him to be in this narrative. I would sacrifice a lot to get him out because I think him as a main character has been the worst decision in this series. I'm just going to say it because you my... Know <laughs> what would be really funny? What's up? What if Usopp has to fight stronger? <laughs> or not stronger. If Usopp has to fight... Burgess. Oh Lord! Oh what no! If we, what if we put? What if we start doing tag teams and we have Usopp having to fight, having to contend with Burgess, and when oh. Burgess looming over Usopp pulls out the awakened right hand punch, oh. the strongest punch known to humanity, the strongest thing that could possibly happen. Realities are shattering, bending, warping around the absolute strength of this punch. Oh. And he pulls out the impact dial. Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I want it. I want it. I want it. And I'll raise you a buck. Tech, <laughs> stronger and Doc Q, right? Yeah. Versus Chopper and Brooke. That would be cool. You know why I say, Brooke, you can't make someone sick who's already dead. That would be very funny. Yo, because he's already immune to like stuff like the uh, the uh, ice only bullets. He was immune to that. Like, I just want 
like I hope that Blackbeard stuff isn't one on one fights. I hope that they do stuff interesting with that. Yeah. Tag team fights would be so good. It's the best. If if you're not going to do the Davy back fight, tag team fights. Yes, I agree. And then you have to have like you have to have Sanji and Zoro working together for the first time since what? Long Rain Logland? Mm, mm. Cause you gotta tie those two together. Against like, I guess well, I wanna say Vasco shots the, the cook, because I mean he's food related. And yeah. then and then Shiryu. Or Katarina Davon and Shiryu, I don't know. Ooh. Well, I like that. Oh, the Katarina Davon has to be fought by a girl. Oh, She's probably gonna be fought by who? Robin, maybe? Robin? Because Lafitte's Nami. Because Lafitte and Nami is kind of weird how that's lining up a lot. Mm-hmm. Because not she calls all her stuff like eggs and stuff, and Lafitte's a bird. Yeah. Um. But at the very least, like, usually when Oda has the token girl on the crew. Yeah. They gotta be fought by, like, Robin or Nami. Like, that's just, like, usually it's Nami. Yeah. Um, and I hate saying that. Yeah. But. Uh, oh, maybe Lafitte's a girl. We don't know. Ooh. <laughs> How progressive. How progressive. Oh. <laughs> oh, right. That's the other thing. Uh, Yamato and, uh, and Devon are almost the same character. Really? Uh, yeah. They literally were the same character at one point. Like in terms That's of visu- in terms of visuals, because like the uh, the sketches for Devon before she was a uh, a Blackbeard pirate. Yeah, she just before she's she just, was canon. Before she was canon, she's just like this pretty woman in a kimono. She has like space bun horn hairstyle. I guess that would make sense if you want to have like a Japanese style dress for the Kitsune fruit. Yeah, like she's a yokai. Yeah. So I guess your first idea would be Japanese inspired dress. Yeah. I like so much more that they went with the Victorian style. I love it. Also, she's based off a real person who was a crossdresser, a, a woman oh. explorer who um, posed as man, who posed as men. Uh, based. And then that's funny because the first time we see her power, she is posing as a man. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, that's cool tying that all together so that's why i say like yamato really is a good bet because yamato is cross-dressing as a man most of the time that she wants mm. to be odin so like it it really does track but we'll have to see about that uh the the run back to wano or fishman island is a topic because oh i don't yeah. wanna yeah <laughs> i don't wanna just oh, dear. just have like, do what you did with Hachinosu and just cut back to Fishman Island and Bartolomeo's Grand Adventure. Have, uh, have Bartolomeo underwater, have Ideo and, and the, the funny guys from Aladdin and Wano, who, who more fleet guys. Give me all the fleet people. Give me a yeah. Her- Herutagon. Herutagon has to fight for Wano. I don't know, bro. Like, like just... <sighs> Use use Luffy's territories as an excuse to put more stake onto the Grand Fleet. Yeah. Let the Grand Fleet do stuff. Have Orlumpus take Whole Cake Island. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be funny. I'd laugh. <laughs> oh, but that means he has to be Katakuri. Make Katakuri part of the Grand Fleet. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I was like, yeah, who on the Grand Fleet could even fight Katakuri? <laughs> um, other than oh, maybe Cavendish? Maybe. That's a big ask. Oh, no, Chin. No, not Chin Zhao, his grandson with the hot wife. Um, oh, with Baby S- Five? Sai. Sai would mess him up. Oh. Oh, we, we put Sai and. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Sai couldn't even kill one Charlos. That's true. <laughs> he's still, he uh, him being alive is a problem, ain't it? <laughs> Not really. I, well, Come I, on, Oda doesn't just straight kill people. I mean, he should. He's a he's a problematic character. Kill him, Oda. Well, no, nah, <laughs> I won't be like that. No, nah. but um, what if by the end of the series <laughs> we have the Charlos redemption? Uh, no, <laughs> no. 
I refuse it. <laughs> no. No. Even the celestial dragons can be good guys. Uh, uh, Mjolnir's guard is enough. Yeah, Mjolnir's guard is enough. Cause ooh wee, that's a terrible message. At the end of the day, I think no matter where you sit in, like where you sit in what camp you sit in about One Piece itself, we all like One Piece. We do. Whether or not you blindly follow it, whether or not you are a power scaler, whether or not you are going crazy with like theories or f- talking about the little nitty, the uh, little nitty gritty of it, the fashion of it, the character designs, all this kind of stuff. At the end of the day, there's one thing that unites us all, and that's our love for this series. Yes. Right. And, you know, even today, I've come in all doom and gloom about certain aspects of the series that makes me upset. (laughs) But at the end of the day, all of this comes from a place of love. Yes. I love One Piece, and I want to see it do better. Yes. I'm not trying to put it down because, like, oh, One Piece is bad. I'm not even saying One Piece is bad now. No. I just think that there are a couple things that Oda could do better yeah but the man is making a weekly manga (laughs) and he's juggling like a thousand characters he's juggling Uh, a thousand characters a live action remake another anime uh, the monsters remake which was another anime starting from the beginning plus um nine different um characters and what their journeys are in their power sets. Even though I like goof and gaff on Jimbe, I do think he's done well with the other characters. And <laughs> at the end of the day, I think what we want to see, I know it might sound like heresy in a bubble. We would like to see more Jinbe. Because I would like to have any kind of context for him being here. Like for me, either. <laughs> You you're gonna squat or you're gonna get off the pot. Yeah, like you're either he does stuff or you kill him and replace with somebody else. That's where I'm at. Like, show me something, or you say he's red herring and you show me the real guy. I I'm, yeah. just, I'm just saying. Show me Jinbei just interacting with the rest of the crew, man. Because it's weird. It's weird. I I have problems with Jinbei. But a lot of those problems could be alleviated if we just gave him some, like, some decent quality screen time. And we I'm, never see Jinbei just hanging out. Never. We don't know what he's like because he's always on the job. He's always on the clock. And you would think, I'm, and this is, this is not a racial thing, but seeing as how he just looks like Tom, you would just think, in terms of bio proportion and attitude, you yeah. would just think him and Frankie would be like best buds, and the helmsman and the shipwright should be friends. Yeah, I they've feel- been friends from the beginning. Yeah, when Usopp was the helmsman. Yeah, and then they've had a father and son relationship since Frankie beat him to death. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I believe you mean grandma and son relationship. Oh, to fix that. I, I'm in tears. Actual <laughs> tears. That <laughs> pisses me off to no end. I am livid that that happened. Chopper, Usopp, Frankie. This is, these are his two sons that he pals around with. He puts his baby through medical school and it's great. That's my headcanon. That's what's mm-hmm. happening. He's married to Robin. Robin is his wife. I, I, this, this is what I'm living with. Fr- Brooke is his dad. They, they play music. Both of them have interest in music. <laughs> he introduces his wife to his dad. That's what Thriller Bark is about. I will take no questions. Good day. <laughs> like, Frankie just fits so well on the crew dynamic. And, like, Jinbei being the dad is like, what has he done? Uh, like, Oda, I, what what are you doing here? Like, I understand he was a mentor to Luffy. I'm not taking that away from him. I think those are beautiful scenes. Does he feel like Luffy's dad? No, Frankie does. In fact, Frankie and Luffy got the same power set, kind of. Frankie is, li- <laughs> is literally what Luffy uh, like pretends to be. Luffy has gum gum pistol. Frankie's got a pistol in his finger. 
Yeah. That they both wear red. Well, red and yellow. But still, like the color schemes are similar. That's what I always thought Frankie kind of was. Like this weird literal take on what Luffy does. They both have the they they both stretch their arms out. They both can inflate. It's kind of simple Simon stuff. And he's just got such a big personality that it's easy to fit him into any kind of dynamic. Yeah. Like you don't have like with Brooke and Frankie, you don't have to give them a crazy amount of screen time. Because we understand who they are immediately. And them on the bike was so baller. Oh, my God. Oh, that's one piece right there. Oh, singing. It's Brooke even Brooke telling Big Mom to watch her mouth, young lady. Yo. <laughs> oh, yo. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's one piece. <laughs> that's some good writing right there, boy. I'll tell you what. <laughs> like, I want more of that. It's like soulful. I just want more I want more of the crew being themselves. It's great. And then like even like when they're on Zoe, like it's like Sanji and Brooke and Nami and Chomper. Mm-hmm. Sanji says, Hey Brooke with me. Like yeah. he, he he the organization, the understanding of who you have on your squad and their strength. That's that's mm-hmm. that's cool. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We've we've been we've been sailing these seas for twenty five years. Of course, they're gonna be able to like in, in their mind. It's only been like a year, but but yeah, still. But they're gonna know. Meanwhile, Jimbe says, "What are you all uh, crying about for? Leave Luffy to his business." I'm like, "Shut up, Jimbe. You don't get to say anything." I mean, maybe Jimbe should have moments like that, and then he should get some pushback. I would love the pushback. <laughs> Okay. Have no. like have a moment where Jimbe slots into the crew. <sighs> like show the dynamic. Show like show what Jinbe changes in the crew dynamic because we've done that with every character. And I'm sorry, like, the fat like, joke was not funny. <laughs> I, and egghead, I don't, I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> I'm already fat. Like, Jinbe, you ain't eating. <laughs> Uh, like okay (laughs) i mean that's something at least but Uh, like why does jinbei have to be tied exclusively to luffy i mean uh, um like why has he not had a conversation with anyone else one-on-one like he did with robin at one time which led nowhere why has he not talked to zoro that's weird that's weird. <laughs> Why not? He talked to Chopper about nonsense, and, and that was out of character. Because the subject matter should not have gone over that easy. I, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. But, you know, like, Jinbei... Jinbei has not had a chance to let his personality, like, blossom and thrive. Which is weird too, because he's been in the story for a while. He's now. been in the story for so long, but a lot like diggity dogs. Like I like Egghead a lot. Yeah, there has been very little characterization in this arc. Oh, it's been all over the place. Now, nah, yeah, no, nah, it's been terrible. Like there has been, like go back and read Punk Hazard. Yeah, Punk Hazard is considered one of the worst arcs in the series by a lot of people and that's not really a blight against punk hazard i think that that's just how good one piece is yeah but do you know what punk hazard has soul and character a lot of characterization you know you have you have the brown beard pirates they're like oh look at these pirates coming to us oh my god they're so scary like th- why are they looking at us like this and then you have like luffy robin and zoro giving them death glares because they're freezing to death and they want their coats that's great that's amazing <laughs> luffy pretending to be a centaur is kino luffy pretending to be a centaur like anything with kinemon is great Robin feeding Luffy. Robin imagining using a uh, Usopp as a boat. <laughs> Diggity dog. Nami and Sanchi had their bodies swapped. 
Sanji immediately going into, I'm going to use this opportunity. <laughs> and then Nami gives him a sticky, gives him a smokes. Yes. Because she's like, hey, I know this is my body that you're actively destroying. But I know you like this. Go for it. Frankie. Hopefully this won't be a, a, a permanent thing. Frankie. And then that leads to this amazing interaction that they have. Yes. In a whole cake. Yes. Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh. Because she's been the man. Oh. Oh, that's good. I mean, well. Like, she obviously cares about him. And then he goes in and immediately, like, betrays them afterwards. Like, that's that's where it is, man. Yeah. Like, you could set up, like, tiny one panel things like that. That's good, Zach. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> Also, what has Egghead done? Nothing. Where's the lore. characters? It's lore. It's all lore, backstory, cutting around to the world, and Gear 5. Like the only characters who have been developed are Kuma and Bonnie. Yeah. And like we had we had one moment yeah. where Nami ran around and stole a whole bunch of gems from Vegapunk because he has machines that make gems. That's funny. It I like that. But remember in Skypea, where Nami was like firmly on the crew of uh, I have uh, I have I don't want to explore this island itis. And then they mention a city of gold. <laughs> and she looks over to Usopp with the berry symbols in her eyes. It's like, yes, this, this. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> also, uh. Frankie is my spirit animal because as soon as he's in Chopper's body, he goes immediately to Monster Point because that's what you would do. That's what you would do, yeah. Because I can turn into a giant freak reindeer and that's base. Also, <laughs> he's the first one to see, I think, yeah, he's one of the first ones to see Monster Point because he's actually saved Chopper from Monster Point in his lobby. So it's a run yeah. back to that. That's great. Yeah. Ah. Uh, but yeah, the characters have disappeared under the shadow that is Kuma. Also, uh, Kuma's gigantic. Yeah. Because uh, he, he takes up the giant's full palm. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I know that's obvious. I, it's, I, I just didn't think about it. I mean, do you see how... Do you see how... Like, Bonnie is roughly the size of Luffy. Yeah. You see how small she is compared to Kuma? Yeah. When he's, like, carrying her around? Yeah, true. Like, Kuma's big. And Atlas, Kuma's almost the size of um, what's his face, uh, Onion Man uh, from uh, Thriller Bark. Oh yeah, there's only a foot of difference, or oh, not like an yeah. inch. Yeah. And then um, Atlas is humongous. I love Atlas. Oh my god. Oh, she's so big. Wow. The Vegapunks have gotten plenty of good characterization. I will give Oda that. All the Vegapunks are good except for the robot ones. I don't like them. I like hate the them. Vegapunks are good. The, like the Vegapunks are good. We have plenty of characterization with the Marines, and we we got Kuma. All of that nonsense. We've developed Saturn and Kizaru. Where are the Straw Hats, and why are we skipping all of them? Like, what's going to happen with that subplot with Brooke and Lilith? Is the ship going to just fly off the island? What's going to happen? Luffy's gonna grab it with his gear fifth hand. Oh, oh no. Lord. I hope that it leads something. I, I hope that it leads into Big Robot. I don't know how, but I hope it leads into Big Robot. Yeah. Or or the ship just crashes into Saturn's head and it kills him. <laughs> that would be I would love that. <laughs> I'd laugh. If, if if Saturn just gets hit by the whole boat. Yeah, boink, bonk. That would be good. Ah, uh, uh, I just love Tang and Topa too much, and I want the boat to integrate with Giant Robot. Uh, I agree, <laughs> <laughs> I, brother. That's I, what I want to see come out of this. I've watched Tang and Topa like about three times in a row. I yeah, I agree, and both of the movies. Mm -hmm. I no, I'm with you 100. percent Tang and Topa, Green Logon for show. Good series. Good I series. Like it a whole lot. Me too. Tamina is good. Good, good character. 
But what if we just like skipped all of Kamina and got right to Simone? Yeah, just right to the Simone. No growth. <laughs> we don't get no context for how he turns into a man. Just nothing. Doesn't earn the like, star glasses. Nothing. Uh, nope. Like I like Egghead a lot. Yeah. I, I I need to preface everything that I say with that statement. I do too. Because Egghead has been really good. It has been. But good lord, man. Yeah. It's been a lot of like, makeup. It's it's all Luffy. Yeah, it's all Luffy. We're just skipping everyone. <laughs> We're just skipping them. Why? Can we not have like half of a chapter of Kizaru and Sanji kicking each other? I mean, matching leg for leg would be sick, but I guess there's no time because Luffy's going to smack both uh, Saturn. Because and- Luffy has to beat up Saturn and Kizaru at the same time. Yes, yeah, smack them together like action figures. Diggity dog, he has a crew. Uh, Why does Luffy have to do everything himself? The whole point of the story is that Luffy can't do everything himself. That that is right? the point. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> Isn't that the point? That's the whole point. That's why we we have like nine going on like ten characters or whatever. That's that's what I I thought. <laughs> oh, also, um, my body agenda is up. Mm-hmm. Because Vega Punk says to Luffy, I I, I trust. Your I entrust Bonnie to you. Oof. So um Bonnie's stock is up. <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't matter if we don't see her. Ah! <laughs> oh, mm. Do you know what I really do like about this chapter? What? I like I like Luffy smiling menacingly again. That is good. We have not had that since East Blue, dog. Yeah, true. Remember when that was just like a thing? Where Luffy was like playing pirate and somebody be like, oh, you're pirates. And then Luffy and Zoro, they just like look evilly like, yeah, we're pirates. <laughs> are. <laughs> we're evil pirates. <laughs> This is giving me vibes of that. This last uh, shot of Luffy. Yeah. And I like that. I want more of that. It is good. Also, the fact that he keeps catching Kizaru is cool. (laughs) I do like that. Granted, Kizaru was caught off guard. Again. And once again, we're also showing uh, this funny little thing. Kizaru is the fastest in the universe. But what is he doing before he gets caught? He's transforming into light. Yeah, because, oh, his personality. Ooh, right. His personality well, is deficit. That, well, it's not the personality that's his deficit. The fruit itself has one major weakness. And that's that he can be as fast as humanly possible, but it always takes time to transform into that form, to transform Probably. into light. It does. So if he's trying to get out, that's your moment to grab him. That's what Rayleigh knew. True. That's why Rayleigh took the fight to him instantly. True. And didn't give him a moment of respite, because if you give him a moment to breathe, then he can transform, and then it's over. It's all over, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, That's what I've always seen, anyway. No, I I, you're absolutely right. I think so. <laughs> yeah, because it's it's very deliberate, even in the anime. Because he he's slow to even regenerate too. Like um, when Apu bisects him, mm-hmm. his legs get. He's like, oh, how troublesome! And then his body slowly builds back on top of itself. So no, yeah, you're right. His regeneration reaction, uh, when he's transforming into light is very laggy. It's slow. Yeah, slow. Yeah. Which is hilarious for the fastest devil fruit ever. Oh, yes. It's very funny. (laughs) Uh, But yeah, he is caught again by the Luffy. And you know what? Okay. I I know I said what I said about the Saturn. I need context for this fruit. Like. 
What what is it? Like I I know the, the demon that looks like, but I would like a name drop. Yeah. I mean, albeit volume 108 is coming. So the SBS is going to be there. I cannot remember if Saturn. Uh, yeah, Saturn is covered. Saturn appears in the chapters that are covered by volume 108. So maybe we'll get a fruit drop there. I hope. It is odd that we haven't given him. Like when he went into spider form for the first time, it's odd that we didn't give him a nameplate. You would think, because I mean, he's already had a formal introduction of his like name and station. Yeah, because Oda loves giving characters their nameplates. Bluegrass has had like three of them by now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she just because apparently one again. Oda doesn't trust me to remember the goat. <laughs> God, I love Bluegrass. Look at her. Bluegrass Look at this great. character. She's awesome. She's great. I love a cool old lady. Cool old lady is good. Although it does look like she has goggles and that's not her eyes, so. Oh, well. Yeah, well, I mean, she's old. Yeah. Hound, I don't like him. He looks like a goober. Yeah. I don't care for him. Guillotine. He looks... Hound... Especially with how this is drawn. Like, Hound looks like an OC. Very 2012. Very Tumblr. Hound <sighs> Hound's design is very cluttered. Yeah. It's got the glasses, scraggly hair, the lipstick, all this kind of nonsense. Like it doesn't really have like I guess you could say with bluegrass too that her design is cluttered, but like it's cool. At least with bluegrass, everything is designed around like circular features. Yeah, true. So it, it has like one thing tying everything together. And that's like the idea of the circle. Which makes sense because she has a ride ride fruit. So she looks like a wheel. She looks she's got wheels. So yeah. Whereas this guy looks like looks like a a one piece character that a very um hormonal teenage girl would draw he looks like oda trying to design his own jojo oc yes he looks like he should be like a fashion icon yes (laughs) very (laughs) alone a vice admiral however guillotine looks like a dad and i like that yeah guillotine's cool and uh toza the guy who looks bought who got bonked looks like someone i knew in high school but that's pretty cool <laughs> <laughs> very good um i need to find the raws of this so that i could see bluegrass's nameplate without having the uh, english on top of it this filthy english like it's written in english and it's stylized text why did we draw over that tcb scans <laughs> I mean, Viz does silly things, you know. True. This, this is Viz. Oh, of course, of course. I'm leaving that in. That was funny though. <laughs> but uh, why did you why did you write over so that you could mention that they're all vice admirals? Okay. Which we we did that our uh, we, we did that already. That that's uh, yeah. Uh, like I like that they all have their own stylized nameplate, but why over that? <laughs> I, why? I I wonder how much do these characters matter? I'm wondering because like I'm looking It's a good question. I don't think most of them are going to Outside of like one panel appearances, I don't think that they're going to be major influences on the rest of the story. The only one I could see moving beyond this point is Doll because she's got it's Doll. She's got the she's got like backstory, yeah. And then she talked to Kizaru alone like two chapters ago. Yeah. So it's like, and then she was of course in the earlier parts of the arc with Tashigi. You know, it's it's interesting that she's been given all this gas. I don't know. I mean, we've seen Doberman before, so that's not a surprise. Yeah. But even 
like him, it's kind of like, well, how far is he going to get? He's a very unmemorable character. And then like two, when they do do cool things like Toza here, he gets bonked by the cool character. Mm -hmm. So what does that matter? It was a shame. It's a shame because I do like to see applications of hockey and martial arts together. I think that gives uh, that makes people more differentiated if they don't have a dull fruit. And like um, Red King too with his cool uh, mecha arm. That's neat, but like long term, how far are you going to go with that, you know? I mean, because you like put Red King in a fighting game with that? No, not really. No. I mean, he's a, he he could be a, like a weird little support guy that comes in and does a thing, but he's not going to be a premier character. Doll could have a doll fruit. I don't know. Maybe she doesn't. But if she doesn't, what else can she do? Because we've seen that she kicks good. But is there more to that? I would think there there would be. At this point, why is Rob Lucci not a vice admiral? Because he's in CP zero. He's a uh, more important. Oh, yeah, he's got special privileges, I guess. Which, how soon is he going to get fired after letting Nika go? I mean, is that Lucci's fault? Yes. <laughs> do you think that, do you think that Lucci is going to be the only scapegoat when they had Saturn actively on the field and Kizaru there? Well, they're not going to blame Saturn. Saturn is going to be like, you should have known Stussy I mean, was a Kizaru spy. I mean, Kizaru is the scapegoat here. Yeah. Ooh, Kizaru not being a Marine anymore. Huh. Throw him across, Gil. I mean, no. I mean, they're not going to fire Kizaru. Fair. What are they going to do? Fire Kizaru and then have another draft with these goons that they keep fi- uh, hiring? So, Vice Admirals. Yes. Um, very good custom, very good characterization. But how... How much are they going to be in the story for the going forward, I guess? Yeah, like, what's going to be the implementation? Because, like, Doll, I can see going a lot of places. Because th- the one drop of Saul has my brain running, right? Yeah. I like Red King. I like Bluegrass. I like Guillotine. I like Urban. I don't know what any of them mean. <laughs> And if we're establishing vice admirals, we've already established Saturn. So we got to st- establish the other four Gorosei. Right. Then we got so to- maybe they could be attached to them in some way or another. I don't know. That could be. Um, Whatever their roles in future arcs are going to be. It would be nice uh, to get some context about what, like, what their powers are. Even though, like, not for power scaling purposes, just for interest, because I, I just like the devil fruits. Um, mm-hmm. Like, Urban's gun fruit. Like, what's up with that? Why is he a cannon or a gunman? Uh, does does Hound is Hound a dog? I would be funny if he wasn't. <laughs> if he was a cat? <laughs> yeah. We got so many dog fruits. Um, speaking of which, can we, can we just confirm Dalmatian? Please? I, can, can we see more of Dalmatian? Because <laughs> it's been t- almost 20 years. We know he does stuff and he stays in a hybrid form all the time. Even when he was a boy, which is weird. And he's not a mink, I don't think. I don't know. Is he a mink? We've never seen a mink human hybrid. I don't know, actually. I could just be making assumptions, actually. I mean, usually with the minks, they don't name them after the animals that they are. They don't. Other than like Dog Storm, but come on, at I, least you had some uh, fun with that. Yeah, like Dog Storm and Cab Viper, but that, like that's a name. Mm. That's a name. Dalmatian is the breed of the dog. Like, <laughs> uh, and then like like Chihuahua Toros doesn't count. No. Minnow Chihuahua. What th- he's called that because he's a pet. He's a man beast. Yeah. He's he's uh he's lobotomized or whatever happens when you awaken bad. Um, that doesn't count. So, yeah, I I would like context. Anything, give me anything. I do like seeing more 
Like I said, I do like seeing more Marines. Marines are good. They they they, they always they always bring it. They're always good. Well, anything else, Zach? I think I'm done complaining. <laughs> no one piece. So your thoughts were valid. <laughs> um, yeah. So no break next week. So we will we will be back. We will be back next week with more One Piece. And uh, so I would require you all to go on the YouTube and subscribe to Reddit Sephiroth. I would require you to go onto the YouTube into every Polypede Works video and make a comment this time yelling that Vegapunk is a D. Oh, Lordy. Well, the bar is <laughs> open, boys. Don't be dodgy. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>